In Numbers chapter 10, let me read the first two verses to get us started. It says, And the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Make two silver trumpets for yourself, and you shall make them of hammered work. You shall use them for calling the congregation and for directing the movement of the camps. So in the days before sound systems, woofers and tweeters, cell phones and radio, television, one of the ways to communicate was through the sounding of the trumpet. And here's what we see. The trumpets in this chapter were for several very specific reasons. It was for information. They blow the trumpet and they came and assembled at the door of the tabernacle for direction and for information. The second reason was for mobilization. The trumpet would be blown. It's time to break camp, to pack up your tent, to continue the journey through the promised land, to move forward. The third reason for blowing the trumpets was for confrontation. There's a battle. The enemies of Israel are coming your way, so the trumpet would be sounded. And the fourth reason was celebration. A feast, a festival, a holy day was about to be celebrated. And all through the Bible, we see trumpets. But here at this time, as the Israelites are making their way through the wilderness, looking for the promised land, they always kept their ears tuned, always waiting for the call or the sound of the trumpet. And so in our time here in this crazy wilderness of ours, this culture we're making our way through, we're looking for our promised land, heaven. But we're also waiting for the sound of a trumpet, the rapture of the church. And it will be a great day of celebration. Always be looking, always be listening for the sound of the trumpet.